I understand that influencers have to generate an income, but since when does generating an income come along with lying to your fans? Michaela Jane Noguira is an American cosmetics artist and TikTok celebrity. She began uploading beauty and cosmetics material on Tumblr in 2013. She had success on this site, but not like on TikTok. Michaela began creating TikTok videos in March 2020 due to COVID-19. She now publishes beauty and cosmetic tutorials, reviews, routines, promos, and more. It was her honest reviews of beauty items that had set her apart from other online makeup reviewers, but definitely just finished breaking that trust with all of her fans after her most recent video promoting L'Oreal's mascara. Look how long and lengthened my lashes look. You, this literally just changed my life. This looks like false li This is how, what? <laughs> It's this L'Oreal telescopic lift. Look at the wand. Okay, so basically I'm taking the curved side and I'm going root to tip and I'm satin to coat the lashes. And then once you've done that, you flip the brush to the side and you use the hook comb to basically separate. This is one coat. Okay, I'm going to add a second. Look at the length. Do you see that? I am speechless and I'm not sure anyone's gonna ever be able to compete with this mascara. <laughs> In the video, you can clearly tell that she puts on eyelashes before the final reveal, and we aren't the first to notice it. Look at this before and after. Like, you can't really say that they aren't lashes with that clear of a difference. Multiple people commented calling her out saying, Girl, did you add falsies at the end? We can see the length in the outer corner, and she has the guts to respond. Moo, just three or four coats in my tight liner. Or by this guy that says, That's crazy using falsies and denying it. Yet she stills stands her ground and says, These comments are literal proof that this mascara is the shit. Basically, people keep calling her out on using lashes and giving the mascara all the credit, but she keeps on backing up her statement. No matter what is thrown at her, I guess once you've made a lie and it turned bigger than you thought, you have to take it to the grave, Kathleen Lights. Another popular beauty, YouTube vlogger and influencer who is respected in the industry, went to Instagram yesterday and called out Michaela after saying that she was just so surprised that she would do this because she, herself, really respected her and thought she was honest. I am so shocked right now and I... I feel like I'm gonna regret posting this because I love my peers, I love the beauty community, and I stay out of drama. I don't want, I don't want to talk shit about anybody like at all. Um, but I was just stretching after my workout, and I was on TikTok, and I saw like a big influencer who like I respect, and like she's awesome, and I and I and I like her TikToks a lot. But I just saw a sponsored post. Um, I'm like. I'm like shaking because I'm so shocked. I'm like shaking because I'm so shocked. I saw her do a sponsored post, which that doesn't matter because uh, whatever, sponsorships are awesome. I do them all the time. Um, but it was about a mascara. And when she shows like the finished product of the second coat, she's like wearing Ardell Demi Wispies or something. Like there's falsies there. Like it's very clear. It's very, very clear. But she's saying that they're not falsies. It's just the mascara. I'm just like, damn, damn, that really sucks. Like for the rest of us who are so honest, <laughs> that really sucks. Kind of disappointed me, but what can you do? Since she posted those videos to her Instagram story, she got a lot of attention and ended up responding with this. I feel somebody screen recorded my story about the mascara sponsorship thing and posted it on TikTok and I'm getting tagged and a lot of you are being really nice to me but I'm really scared. I'm really, really scared and like I don't want to, please, please, please. I have a lot of anxiety, guys, okay? I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have said anything. I was just so shocked. So, words just came out. So, I guess the moral of the story is that if you want to get honest reviews, go follow Kathleen and you'll be set up just fine.